You've probably noticed how bad the lighting is in my studio and in some of my past videos. Today I'm going to show you how I fixed that problem. And I gotta thank Jason the World Traveler for sharing this with me because it actually didn't cost me hardly anything and it was very easy to install. This LED light plugs right into a wall outlet and everything cost me under 20 bucks. First, I want to wish you all a happy snow moon. Um, at this moon phase, the moon is very, very bright. It really looks like an LED light and it brings a lot of snow. But because of this cold, I've had to postpone the video I wanted to put out because I have to film some of that video outdoors. But you can subscribe to stay updated with my weekly uploads. And be sure to hit the like button at the end of this video if you find this helpful. So let's get started here. So Jason told me about this LED light and my first thought was how am I going to hang this thing and actually I found these really nifty hooks. Together they cost like five bucks for the pair and what makes them special is you can actually put them into a drywall ceiling and they can hold quite a bit of weight too. You can see that springy action system there and uh, what happens is when you poke that through the drywall in your ceiling um, it expands and then instead of like a screw that can break through a drywall um, piece this actually expands and it kind of like pushes down on a larger surface area because as you know uh, we never want to screw into drywall when we're trying to hang something so this is a really great system um, you know these were really cheap you could probably find some nicer ones but uh, you know you get what you pay for um, these were super simple to set up the uh, only thing that I really didn't like about them was uh, somehow it, the like white paint got chipped a little bit you could kind of see it there um, but you know I don't really care this is like a studio room the other shops where I do the larger pieces are a lot messier than this room so I try to keep it a little bit nice when I can there's the chains to hang this light too so when I unboxed the light, um, I actually got this from Home Depot. You know, I'll put some links down below to where you can find this light or lights like it and the hooks. Uh, but this was like 14 bucks from Home Depot. So it was really inexpensive. And it's 32 inches long, I believe. Well, it's actually 33 inches where the hooks come in. So uh, really bright light. It's super small, lightweight. And uh, here you can see me getting started taping off where I'm going to hang this light. The first thing you want to do is find a drill bit that's the same diameter or slightly larger than the part that you're going to be inserting into the ceiling at drywall. We really live at a great time when we can buy LED lights because they are by far the superior lighting. Uh, they last way longer, they use up way less energy, and uh, they're brighter. So they're just like a by far superior uh, light for just about anything and uh, I really need that in the studio as you can see because you want to be able to see all the little details when you're making a sculpture or painting or drawing or whatever. Now you will make a little bit of a mess here so just keep that in mind you surely don't want the debris like on your uh, art supplies or on your valuables uh, but it wasn't as bad. I had to drill out the holes a little bit because they weren't quite wide enough just remember that I am working with drywall here, so I gotta be careful not to force anything. It's really easy to crack drywall and make a huge mess or damage it permanently. So once I get it in there, I just wanna be really careful here when tightening up the screw. This is really clever the way this system works. After poking that spring-loaded metal clamp through the hole, it'll like spread out and it'll actually pull against the top of the drywall allowing you to tighten the screws. I want to be sure and adjust it right to the length that leaves just enough room for it to poke through to the other side. And once you get it in the drywall and the ceiling, um, it is kind of hard to actually get some tension on that clamp so that the screw can actually tighten through the thread. I'll show you how to do that here. Um, you just want to kind of pull on that screw just a little bit and then use the screwdriver to uh, slowly turn it and then it will tighten. And don't go too tight here, just enough so it's not going to move around on you.
both chains actually came with the LED light. And the link to the uh, hooks that are sold separately, um, they have everything you need together. And it's really easy the way they just like hook in and then you turn them around so that they're not gonna slide out or anything. And uh, that's it. And now we're ready for the grand finale. I've went like two years in this little studio room doing some of my smaller projects. And I don't know why I'm that stubborn. Um, I actually spent probably like 50 or 60 bucks on other lights that I've used in here and elsewhere. And the whole time I could have bought this like $14 light, you know, and like lighted up the whole room because it's definitely brighter than the lamps, like the floor lamps I have. This tiny light is so bright that you just saw there my phone camera had to adjust the exposure when I turned it on. And you can definitely see the difference. Hopefully this will improve the quality of my videos too, which I think it really will. And I don't know if you saw just a minute ago, but uh, this light does have a plug on the end of it. You don't need to install that. And all I did was I hooked that into a short extension cord, ran that extension cord down right below the desk to a power strip. That way it's like really easy to turn it on and off. If you need a better lighting system in your studio, just check out the links below. I provided some information there to help you out. It really doesn't cost you much either, which is a great thing. Thank you all for watching today. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. I will see you all next time.